It's an image associated with national tragedies. The president, vice president, and their spouses standing on the south lawn of the White House for a moment of silence. And today's milestone is a tragedy indeed. Half a million Americans have now been killed by COVID-19. To understand the magnitude of this loss and failure, that's almost as many Americans as were killed in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War combined. And experts warn the next few months could bring 90,000 more deaths. Tonight, President Joe Biden is mourning those we've lost and pushing his plan to get us out of the crisis. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has the latest from Washington. The coronavirus has now claimed more than half a million lives in the United States. President Biden put the sobering milestone in perspective. That's more Americans who have died in one year in this pandemic than in World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War combined. The president urged Americans to remember and remain vigilant. While we've been fighting this pandemic for so long, we have to resist becoming numb to the sorrow. Vice President Kamala Harris and the second gentleman joined the president and first lady for a moment of silence as 500 candles lined the stairs of the South Portico, each representing a thousand Americans killed by COVID-19. President Biden has ordered U.S. flags to be flown at half staff this week as the administration tries to get a handle on the unpredictable disease. We are working on rolling out a lot of vaccine to a lot of people, um, and yet we still have an, a lot of disease. The White House's coronavirus response team says vaccine production and distribution remain its top priorities. Recent storms have disrupted deliveries across the country. I reported on Friday that we would catch up on deliveries by the end of this week. We now anticipate that all backlog doses will be delivered by midweek. The CDC says more than 44 million people have received at least one dose of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. 19.4 million have received both shots and are fully vaccinated. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, The White House.